I'm, I'm just gonna um I'm gonna throw some words out to you and then you're just gonna tell me what you think of. Okay. Okay. You ready? You ready? I I didn't start. Andrews, are you ready? Ready. You ready? I'm bald head. I can't grow hair no more. I'm mad. Go ahead. <laughs> okay. I'm upset. You see this right? Go ahead. <clears throat> <clears throat> that means you got the the thoughts can come right out. They don't get stopped. By the air. <laughs> they don't get stopped by the air. They just come right out. That's a good thing. All right, let's go, yeah. Right. All right. All right. Let's start. Okay. Some words. Drake. Hot. hot? I'm gonna say hot. I'm a big fan of Drake, man. I'm okay. a huge fan. I say that the thank me later. I didn't have to skip a song. Really? Okay. So I need to go back and listen to that. I love it because it, it puts me at it puts me at LA. That's when I was rehabbing. That's when I was grinding, trying to get back to the game. So all I was bumping in the range on the four five, stuck in traffic, you know where to go was. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, I was just Drake on hard, man. Drake hard. I know you know what. Every now and then, like I don't listen to him a whole lot, and I've never heard a whole album like I've heard a couple of the songs off his mixtapes and stuff. But every yeah. now and then, he will make this like crazy observation about life. That you like, yeah, true, yeah. true. That's why I get in. I need to, I need to, like, I need to relate to him. Yeah. You can relate. He's not afraid to pour out his feelings. You know, like, it's it's almost like how most men kind of act like we are, you know, we tough, extra tough. He grew up without a father. I grew up without a father. The average person that grew up with a father or the average person that thinks they're macho would say, oh, they're soft, you know, because he's just displaying his feelings. But he does it such, in a, such a way that just, it makes you it makes you fall in love with his music. It's art. It's his art. It's crazy. Yeah, he's got he got that Midas touch. Okay, yeah, okay, okay. yes he does. All right, I'm gonna give you the next word. You ready? Okay. <laughs> Twitter. I'm just tired right now. I want to put Drake on. Like we gonna put okay. We gonna have to talk about him later. Okay. All right, Twitter. Cool. Twitter. All right. Yeah. Twitter. That's the word. Twitter. Yes. <laughs> uh, Twitter. You know what? Me being a social butterfly. Um. Being a country boy, you know, being from a small town where people told me I'd never make it, people told me, hey, this town of 13,000 people at the time when the international paper was booming before it shut down, hey, nobody's going to come down here to get you. And just being a, a social person, I always still had love for the people that told me I'd never make it. And once I got introduced to the computer world, um, just talking to people, it was cool. So I was like, I could talk to people in... Brazil, I have a couple fans in Brazil that's a fan of me. Like, that's cool. Like, that's awesome. <laughs> so Twitter just puts you in touch. It does. It does. It really does. Like, I don't use it to Mac on nobody. You know, I'm married, whatever. But like, it's just fun to just, just get opinions from people. You know, when I ask a question, people say, Google it. When I'm like, well, I have followers. You tell me what's going that's on. Right. Like, what's your point of view it is? You know what I mean? What do you think about it? So and You're a good awesome. tweeter, too, you know, because some people... I mean, I'm not gonna talk about your feather, your fellow athletes, but you know. <laughs> what hasn't been said, but it's okay. That's true. But a few yeah. of y'all are actually really funny, like y'all and y'all entertain me. You one of them. You're one of them. Oh, thank you. Definitely. Okay, next word, football. Hard knock life. Hard knock life. It's a brotherhood. It's a. Uh, it, it's it's a team. It's blood, sweat, tears. It's what I love. It's a passion. Yeah. Something that I really grew to love because I didn't, you know, growing up, I didn't have a dad there to say, hey, son, come on, let's go. Let's go watch football. My mom was always working. And me and my brother, we always excelled at sports. We played baseball. I was a heck of a pitcher, left handed, side arm, oh. all star team. When I made the all star team with EMBA, I didn't even know what the all star team was. I was just playing baseball because I was good at it. And, um, you know, just it's, it's just uh, it's different. Not everybody can do it. It's mentally, physically, you, you got to take it up a notch. Yeah. You really got to take it up a notch. And it's just, it's awesome. I was laughing at you the other day because you were talking about Botox and it's painful and dangerous. And I'm like, um, shall I remind him that football is painful and dangerous or should I just leave that out there? I don't really know what to say. Like, you know what? And I've talked to other football players who will say stuff like that and they'll be uh -huh. like, oh, you do that? That's painful. Oh, you do that? That's dangerous. And it's like, I just don't even, like, y'all brains just don't work. <laughs> like, everybody else is. It's like, football is painful and dangerous. Yeah. Well, well you have like to. Two seconds of, like, a sting. Well, you have to be wired a certain way to go out there to pump yourself up, hype yourself up the legal way 
to run yourself into another man and, and you know impose your will against his will and it's just it's just something about doing it it's it's something about third and third and long or fourth and one hey coach come behind big dog baby because it's going in it's going in there you know I'm, I'm hype right now I gotta calm down I'm not playing right now I don't want to upset my back but it's it's oh well wait no don't calm down yet because my next one was offensive lines yeah. Yeah, what about? says it all. Okay, celebrity crush. <sighs> She's trying to get me in trouble now. So you try to, you try to get me in trouble. Of course. I don't want to get in trouble. Of course. You know what? I don't really have one now, but I used it used to be Holly Berry before she. It was long before she got married. Long before I got married, and I saw pictures that, that was recent. You know how I like the the fancy um keep the. The fans, what is it? The Star Weekly magazines. They okay. catch that one photo of you look. It's kind of rough. And then after that, I was like, I'm cool. She could never look rough. They photoshopped that. I don't. Believe, I didn't see. You that. think so? I, yeah. Cause I've seen her when I, I mean, but on. She I mean, but good. she's kind of getting up in age. I mean, we, you know, we all kind of. It eventually comes. It eventually That's true. comes. And, and back to the bow tie. You try to like. I wasn't bashing it. I, the first thing I saw, I always wondered what bow ties was. Right. And I was looking at TV. I'm sitting in my office typing. And for some reason, I guess because the wife was in here, uh, Real Housewives of Beverly Hills was on, okay? So I look up, and all I see is a needle going in. And when the doctor does this, it's like a, like it blows her face up. And I was like, oh, like, I was afraid. Like, I almost called 911. That was temporary. Listen, I didn't. I, I didn't even stay around long enough. I went click click. People playing football, y'all out there with broken ribs and whatnot. And you talking about Botox? It's You're just right. a little botulism. Never. I guess anybody. what? I'm afraid of needles. I'm afraid of needles. Like they told me when I was with the Giants last year, they had these doctors come in. They did this little blood test. They said my vitamin D was low. But when they came with the needle, it was scary. Like I still got the little mark right here. It's scary. You don't understand. Have I used you to smell. Had my acupuncture with your back. Yeah, but like I used to see my great grandmother give herself a shot for like yeah. eight nine years of insulin every day. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I was just be freaked out. My heart rate is is is. Your heart is up now. Okay. Okay. I'm okay. Yeah. Next word. Family. Okay. Family. I think of love. It was love from. Uh oh, no, I, listen. Uh uh. I, I, my mom, I think my mom. do a song mom. for us, but go ahead, your mom. That's that's all before I could take it. I was about to lose it after that. But I think about my mom because, you know, coming from a single parent household, <clears throat> as much as she was gone, it felt like she was there because her presence was so great. Like that woman, like instilled fear in her young man. Like if she was at work, y'all better have y'all butt back from the boys and girls club at this time. If she didn't, my auntie, Aunt Margaret, was strategically placed at the corner so she could see all angles if we was coming in. And if not, and Margarita tell us or tell our mom. And, you know, she just she just gave us a lot of love as much as she, you know, didn't let us go to the parties that we wanted to go to. Oh, Ma, you're treating us bad. She just didn't want us hanging around the wrong crowd. And, you know, a lot of the people that we grew up with ended up selling drugs or doing drugs. So. You know, fortunately, me and my brothers, we we just didn't want to that element of disappointment for our mother. We never wanted to cross that road. So, you know, that was a big deterrent for us to, to keep our nose clean. Yeah, you know? yeah, and it's clean. Pretty much. It's a little shiny. It's all, <laughs> you know. Okay, next one. Actually, this okay. one is a phrase. Uh-oh. <laughs> the phrase that pays. <laughs> it's a phrase. Okay. Gang banging and Little Rock. Wow. <laughs> You don't hit me with that. I'm gonna hit you with it. Wow, I'm Little Rock. God, look what she said. If anybody from Little Rock, are you out there? <laughs> listen, check this out. That's bad. Okay, listen. Go ahead. I, it's almost. I don't even really know where to start, but I'm gonna say it was. It was entertaining for me at the time when it came out because I don't even know if I was a teenager at the time. We were really young because I didn't. Have yeah, we were college, really young. So I didn't even know about it until I went to college and I had a friend from Arkansas. Yeah, and you know what's crazy? It's like everywhere that I went in Philly, right? When I first got to Philly, even when I was in Philly for a while and even beyond, even to till, till my last day there, I would ask just random people sometimes, you know anything about Arkansas? And they would say, gangbanging in Little Rock. 
<laughs> yeah, but, and I'm like, really? Is that what y'all think about my great state, the beautiful natural state where there's diamond mines and beautiful Petty Jean State Mountain National Park? I mean, are you serious? Hot springs? We have hot springs running under the ground. You know, I, I got mean, Bill Clinton. We got Bill Clinton, Jermaine Taylor, me, who nobody knows, but um, <laughs> yeah, it's it's uh, it was bad. It was at the time we like kind of we didn't realize that was going on here and and look because I'm from a small town. We had wanna be like you know, wanna be gang members and stuff, but it was it was really it was really an eye opener. It was really an eye opener. It was unfortunate, and it's unfortunate. That's like a stain on a lot of people's mind who who aren't from Arkansas, yeah. never been to Arkansas, but it is what it is. And they came out with a part two. Did, did they? They hit us with a part two. Because you didn't see the part so two. It was so popular. I mean, they were still twenty years uh, late, so I'm not surprised. Oh yeah, they, they came out with just, yeah. They saying yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. <laughs> Probably should have kept that to myself, but I mean, it's out there. Yeah, so. that I picture myself on stage with, okay. you know, the stages raising up and sharks swimming around and stuff like Jay-Z and him, I heard. 